Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, June 28th, 2018. And there's the kitten over there eating food. Uh, I got to touch her one more time again, but she's just not really letting people get near her still. Okay, so after yesterday's video, a lot of comments on yesterday's video, and uh, so I thought I would switch it up a little bit today talk about another topic that could possibly be a possibility and I want to get your guys feedback on this okay but then we're gonna talk about what's the end game in this scenario okay and even in yesterday's video what would the end game be in those scenarios so there's been a lot of talk of a race war okay not just a civil war but also a race war now what is the possibility of that happening okay um, I believe, this is my personal opinion, in the eight years that Obama was in office that our race relations reverted back better than 20 years. They got worse. They did not get better with having Obama as president, okay? And I think he fed into that. Now, you know, some people loved Obama. Some people hated Obama. It just, you know, it's just what it was, okay? I was indifferent either way. I could care less about Obama. Uh, you know, again, in my opinion, and I've said this before, you know, it's like people get so caught up in the, uh, it should have, you know, it, the black and the white thing. A lot of people get caught up in that, okay? And it's not about just that. It's, it's everything overall. It's realistically, it's a class war. Um, with Obama being your guy's president, black, I'm, I'm talking to some of the black people that are just also, just pro-black, okay? And I'm not just talking to all blacks, but... With Obama being the president, what did he really do in eight years to help make black lives better, to help black people better? The people in the cities in Detroit and Chicago, New York City, did your lives get better because he was your president for eight years? Not really. I'm sure his rich friends got richer, and regardless of what color they were, okay? That's the bottom line. That's how it works. When these people get into office, be them white, black, or whatever, they're going to help their rich friends get richer. They don't care about us, regardless of what party it is, guys. Democrat, Republican, it doesn't make any difference, okay? And that's what I think a lot of people get messed up on. And the media wants to push this race war. They want to push a civil war. Now, why do they want to do that? Let's talk about why they want to do that. If they can get us to jump off a war with each other, and let us kill a bunch of each other off, okay? Yeah, I don't like you because you have a different skin color than I do. I don't like you because you have a different religion than I do. I mean, just to me, that's just, it is insanity. That, that's the definition of insanity to me. Instead of all of us just being human beings and working together and trying to have a, a decent life, I think most people really just want to have a decent life, okay? I think. I'm just my opinion. But the thing is, it's like, if there was a race war that got started, now, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to kill a lot of other people because of the color of their skin, which is really, really stupid in my opinion, because it's exactly what the government wants you to do. Do you understand that? That's the whole thing. I think a lot of people are, are blinded by hatred so much that they can't see that's exactly what the government wants you to do. Why do they want you to do that? Well, then, if there is a race war or there is a civil war, what we can do is the government, now I'm the government, I'm the government talking, okay? What I can do now is the government is I say, oh, well, see, they're uncontrollable, we have to lock down, now we put the whole country under martial law. Well, under martial law, you don't have any rights at all, none, zero, okay? So now your opinion don't matter, you're going to do what you're told, you're going to follow the curfew, they're going to come in, they're going to take your guns away, or whatever, you know, however the game is going to be played out. Okay, it will be total and complete control, which the end game is that's what the government wants. Okay, so the end game of a civil war, the end game of a race war is total and complete control of all the people. And you're going to do it, why? For your own good, because you're too stupid to not take care of it yourself. That's realistically what's going to happen, guys. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just being honest, okay? I mean, to me, 
There's good and there's bad people in every race in this country. There's decent white people and there's bad white people. There's decent black people and there's bad black people. There's, uh, you know, decent uh, people that are Asian and then there's bad people that are Asian. There's decent Hispanic people and there's bad Hispanic people. Whatever race, I mean, across the board, okay? Uh, Middle Eastern people, there's some good Middle Eastern people, there's some bad Middle Eastern people. People have an agenda. A lot of people do, okay? They want you to conform to their way of thinking. And they don't want you to be free. They don't want you to have your own thoughts. They don't want you to, to think. You know, it's like, I lean more conservative, okay? But I have some liberal thinking in my, in my views, okay? Because I don't judge people in the aspect of, I don't care who sleeps with who. If you want to be homosexual, if you want to be transsexual, or whatever you want to be, as long as you're not hurting anybody, who cares what you're doing, okay? That's my opinion. I'm also pro-choice, which I'm probably going to get flack for that, okay? Um, it's, I, I, I don't believe that uh, abortion should be used as a form of birth control. That's my opinion, okay? But if somebody is raped and they become pregnant, or if somebody is, uh, you know, sexually molested and they become pregnant, they got a right to get rid of that baby. And that, or, you know, like if it's a young girl makes a mistake, how many times you see that happen over and over and over again? Somebody really young makes a stupid mistake, that can ruin their lives. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen in my own family, okay? So, you know, but they were told, no, 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 don't have that abortion, have that baby, you know? Again, that always comes down to personal choice. This is, this is what I feel. If you don't believe in abortion, then don't get one. But don't tell somebody else that they have to believe what you believe, okay? I hate that. I can't stand that, okay? If somebody's pro-choice, then great. You're pro-choice. If you if something happens and you decide to do it and have an abortion, knock yourself out. Again, I have a lot of live and let live kind of attitude, but the thing is, it's like, and in other ways, I'm very conservative in my thinking. So, you know, it, 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 there's no hard line. I don't agree with everything that the conservatives say. I don't. It's just, that's just my opinion. But the thing is, again, I respect everybody's right to believe whatever they want to believe. But like I said, now we're, we're kind of getting off track a little bit, but it's kind of all goes down to the same point. The government, what they want is total and complete control. So they're going to perpetuate stuff. They're going to, in the media, and, and really get people incited and get them angry. They're angry. Oh, look at all the black men that are being killed by, uh, by police officers. When in reality, more white men are killed by police officers than black men. That's the fact. Look it up. I'm not saying anything that's not true, okay? Now, is there a bias sometimes with cops? Yeah, I agree. There is. You know what I mean? Are people profiled? Absolutely, they're profiled. I get profiled, okay, because of the way I look. I have tattoos. I have a shaved head. I wear a goatee. Um, in the wintertime, I have a full beard. I have earrings. You know, I ride a Harley, you know. So, yeah, I get profiled. Absolutely, I get pro. I get judged by people because of the way I look. And guess what? I don't care. Knock yourself out because you know what? If I'm not doing anything illegal, if I'm not doing anything wrong, I have nothing to hide. So I don't. I don't do drugs. So you know what? Pull me over. You're not going to find nothing. You know, nine times out of ten, they're pulling people over to look for something, for looking for something to charge you with, okay? That's the reality. That's the way it is, okay? But anyway, you know what? It, we need to stop letting them, when I say them, I mean the government, the shadow government, if you will, the people that really pull the strings, the people that have an agenda of what they really want to have in place, we got to stop letting them pull our strings, okay? Now, do I think that there's a possibility that a race war could happen? It, it could. I mean, you know, I hope not. I really do. I really hope not. Because I'm going to tell you what, there's a lot of black people that I really have a lot of respect for, that I really, really like, you know? Um, and again, I take everybody on an individual basis. I really, I hate, really, truly hate the whole white, black, Hispanic, Chinese, Asian, whatever. I hate all that. I can't stand it. If you're here and you live in this country and you're born here or, you know, if you have uh, got your green card, the legal and the right way to be in this country, then you're an American. Period. Period. You know, we're all in this together. That's how it should be. But unfortunately, 
as long as that, that pot has continued to be stirred up and the hate is perpetuated, nothing is ever going to change. We have to change that. We have to say, it's enough of this nonsense. We're not dealing with it anymore. We're not going to feed into the manipulation, you know, that the white man is the enemy. White man is the white devil. You know, he's the one that causes all the problems. You know, here's the thing that I want you guys to remember. You know, I, I keep getting this whole thing with the stolen land. You're, you're on stolen land. You're on this. Man, people have been comp conquering other countries for thousands and thousands of years. Look what China did back back in a the day they united the entire country under one rule because he was the strongest and the smartest guy to do it okay you look at uh, the mongolian empire man they conquer a whole bunch of people with genghis khan okay it's conquest it happens whoever's the strongest generally wins that's how it goes okay just because you know white europeans spread out around the world and they had the technology and you know and stuff like that to win it is what it is okay that happens uh, uh you know it's not you know it, it just it is what it is there's nothing's going to change that you know what i was born in this country i'm not on stolen land i live here this is where i was born this is where i'll die right here in the united states okay this is my country this is where I live. This is, you know, I just want to be at peace with people. I want to be able to look at my neighbors and go, hey, how you doing? And if my neighbor happens to be Asian, if my neighbor happens to be Puerto Rican, as long as he's a good person and is respectful, I have no issues with that. I could care less, okay? There's a lot of white garbage out there too, guys. I deal with it sometimes, you know what I mean? I've seen it. But the thing is, it's like, it's all about respect. I respect your right to think whatever you want. You respect my right to think about whatever I want. And that's it, you know. Um, I did not try to put all of the, now it's, it's going to start raining again. I'm not trying to put all the liberals into one category, okay. I even said that in my video yesterday. But, of course, some people said that I was just attacking, you know, the liberals. There's bad conservatives as well. There's really, really super right-leaning conservatives that, well, you look, let's look at what happened with that lunatic that went and was shooting abortion doctors, okay? And he felt that he was justified in that in killing an abortion doctor because he didn't agree with what they said. That's nuts too, okay? That's crazy. But he did it because he's saving lives. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to get under the thing here because it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Here's the thing. People are going to have different views. You're not always going to agree with your, their views. You're not always going to agree with my views. You know, and if everybody that watches my videos does not always agree with everything that I have to say. I respect your right to believe what you want. You respect my right to believe what I want. The thing is, if there is a civil war, if there is a race war, all we are doing as a people in this country is playing right into the hands of the people that want to control everything. Think about that. I want you to think about that and remember that, because that's the reality. Well, guys, I have been going on and on in this video for quite a while. Uh, we had It's been raining off and on all day again today, and uh, the weather's been a trip. We're supposed to be hitting into a, a stretch where it's going to be really, really hot coming up. So I'm going to jump off of here for now. Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. You know, and you know, remember, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there, guys, is you. Realistically, that's it. Nobody else can do it, okay? So, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember, you know, think about these things, guys. I really want you to think about it. Whose hands are we playing into? You know what I mean? Stop being full of hate for each other. It's, it doesn't do any good. It really, truly doesn't. All right? I'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for